welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is stephanie pizza and if you have always been a subscriber of this channel you are also welcome back to my youtube channel how are you guys doing guys i have to say something should in case i upload this video and the quality is very very bad it's not bright enough please pardon me the reason is because i shared this video during the late hours of the night Everybody's wide asleep, fast asleep, but I could not sleep, guys. I don't just know why I could not sleep. So I was like, since I could not sleep, let me just do something. Yeah, let me do something. And guys, I said my channel is all about relationships, it's all about food, it's all about vlogs, it's all about health. And for once, I've never spoken about anything regarding relationship. And people have been asking me on my DM, peace. You said that this channel is all about relationship too, but he's not spoken anything about relationship. Yeah, today. I want to be talking about something regarding relationship and if you are watching me right now you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel don't forget to click on the notification bell so whenever i upload a video you are going to be notified and please grab your popcorn grab your food grab your drinks sit down and start watching because yeah this is going to be a mind-blowing video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to comment down below let's go so guys, my topic today is questions you need to ask yourself before entering into any relationship. If you have dated before and the relationship never worked out and you want to start a new relationship, please this time around ask yourself some basic questions. And if you are somebody out there you haven't dated before, you just want to start a new relationship, there are things you need to ask yourself too to avoid mistakes, to avoid had I know. So let's get started. Number one here is, am I ready? It is the first question you need to ask yourself. This is the basic question. Am I ready for this relationship? Am I mentally, physically, spiritually okay to handle this relationship? Am I set to go? Am I fit to enter this relationship? And if your answer is no, my brother, my sister, please stay behind. Don't just jump into that relationship. But if your answer is yes, if you know that you are okay mentally, spiritually, physically, then go ahead. But if you know you are not, don't just jump into that relationship because of whatever somebody is telling you, whatever your friend are telling you. Don't make that mistake. Don't be a fool to enter into any relationship blindly. You have to open your eyes to avoid mistakes. So guys, number two here is what kind of relationship do I want? It's another question you need to ask yourself. What kind of relationship do I want for myself? Is it just an anyhow relationship or is it just is it for me to answer that I'm into a relationship? You have to ask yourself that question. What kind of relationship do I want for myself? Is it a God-fearing relationship? Is it based on um, uh, material things? Is it based on having physical relationship? Or is it based on through love? You need to ask yourself this question. If you don't have an answer to this question, please don't go into that relationship. It is not meant for you. Firstly, if you haven't asked yourself, am I ready for this relationship? And secondly, what kind of relationship do I want? Please, you are not fit for that relationship. You need to step back. Don't just make that mistake by entering into that relationship. So the third question here says, does this person bring out the best in me? I believe before you start a new relationship, Relationship will start by, please give me your number, you guys will start chatting, talking on phone, before you accept that relationship. So, during that purpose of answering that call, or talking on phone, or whatever you guys have been doing, does this person bring out the best in you? Or is the person that makes you to cry whenever you guys talk on phone, or you guys chat, it makes you cry, it brings out the beast in you? So, why would you enter into a relationship with somebody that makes you to cry, that brings out the beast in you? Please. If you haven't answered yourself, does this person bring out the best in me? Don't enter into that relationship. It is going to cost you your happiness. Do not, I repeat, do not enter that relationship. If you know that you cannot answer, does this person bring out the best in me? How do you feel whenever you are with that person? How do you feel whenever he calls you on phone? How do you feel? Do you feel secure or insecure whenever he calls you on phone? If you are feeling insecure whenever you are talking to somebody, you feel like going to a relationship with. Guys, please, I'm begging you. Do not enter that relationship. It is going to cost you more harm than good. So the next says, am I really interested in this person? I believe the basis of love or sorry, the basis of a relationship should be love. And if you know that you have no love for that person, please don't just go into a relationship with him or her. You have to be sure that you love this person more enough to stick with him to stick with her don't enter into a relationship because you want to use that person to get over your ex some people might just jump into a relationship because they are in pain they just want to use that particular person to you know to come out of their previous relationship that has brought them tears please don't just try that don't make the person that you are dating presently to suffer because of your past relationship if you know that you cannot handle this person if you know that you are not capable enough if you know that you are not physically and mentally enough if you know you are not interested in that person please 
come out. Don't just end that relationship. Don't suffer that person because of your previous relationship. If you cannot answer yourself, this am I really interested in him or her? Do not, I repeat, do not go into dating him or her. So guys, next question to ask yourself here is, would I be proud to introduce him or her as my partner? If you cannot introduce the person you are into a relationship with to other people, please don't just make the mistake of dating that person. If the person is not good enough for you, if he's not presentable for you enough, if he's not handsome enough the way you want him to be, if the person is not beautiful enough, if you guys are not compatible with each other, do not be into that relationship. Because some people will tell a girl or a guy that, okay, let's keep this relationship private. Any guy that will tell you, let this relationship be private, the guy is fooling you. Don't be a fool by staying into that relationship. Anybody that loves you, when a guy loves you, when a girl loves you, the girl will love, li like to flaunt you. That guy will like to flaunt you to other people. Why are having a relationship if you truly love that person? It's only when you have a skeleton in your cupboard that you are going to hide whenever you are dating somebody. Because if the person is nice enough, you are going to, you know, use that person to brag, to do shakara. She bomb me. But if that person is not well to do or you don't like that, because that is when you go ahead hiding that person. So if you are not proud enough to introduce him or her publicly do not go into that relationship just stay on your own till you know that this person is worthy enough of dating me okay so guys the last point here says will this relationship take me away from god guys if you like forget every other point i've spoken about i don't mind i don't care for this particular one i will surely kill please don't throw it away Whatever on earth that is going to take you away from serving God, if it's not good for you, it will cost you more harm than good. Before you enter into any relationship, during the time of both of you talking on phone, chatting together, and you have seen that this kind of a person is not someone that is going to make me to serve God the more. Guys, run away. Even if I want to date tomorrow, my first criteria is this relationship going to be godly. If it won't, I can't enter that relationship. That is me. So before you enter into that relationship, ask yourself, would this relationship take me away from God? Anything that is going to take you out of the sight of God, run away from it. Please run away from it. Because if you have issues with the relationship, you can actually back out. You will see somebody much better. But when God turns away his eyes from you, who, who are you going to run to? Who? Nobody. Nobody. You will never run to anybody. Nobody can save you from the hands of God, right? So ask yourself this question. Would this relationship take me away from God? And if the answer is yes, now nah, what's so Iban <laughs> <laughs> Run. So guys, that's the end of my video today. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe and comment down below. See you guys in my next video. Bye.